Now then, one of these choose your own adventure books is the scariest choose your own adventure book of all time. Is it the mystery of Chimney Rock or is it the horror of High Ridge? This video is going to finally answer the question of which of these books scared 80s children the most. Hello, I'm Jason Arnop, an author of scary books like these two, and you can find out more about those downstairs in the video description if you like. Now, a while back on this channel, I made a video all about choose your own adventure books in general. I think I had a look at maybe the first 10 or the first 25. Anyway, don't worry, because if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. Be warned though, that video was shot in the days before my incredible Patreon supporters bought me this amazing Sony ZV-1 camera that I'm filming on today, on Friday the 13th. Now, when I made that video about the Choose Your Own Adventure book series from the 80s, I asked viewers to tell me which their favourite book was. A variety of titles were mentioned down in comments on that video, but two titles kept coming up, namely The Mystery of Chimney Rock and The Horror of High Ridge. Yeah, people really couldn't get enough of these titles. There's something about these two titles that really terrified people or certainly stuck in their heads from childhood. And I put it to you, it's because these books were pretty frightening for a teenager back in the 80s before the term teenager even existed. So I'm going to look at these two books one at a time and then I want to hear from you down in comments. Which of these is the most frightening? So let's have a look first at The Mystery of Chimney Rock. I mean, first of all, that cover is great, isn't it? It's a real mystery, kind of macabre mystery cover for a kid, isn't it? You've got a scary old woman, you've got scary cat's eyes, you've got a young boy discovering a trapdoor. Who knows where that trapdoor might go? There are 36 possible endings to this. Of course, if you're unfamiliar with the Choose Your Own Adventure books, then it was the series that started the whole the whole game book craze. The whole book is written in the second person present tense. Uh, basically it's saying you walk along a corridor, you go into a scary house, you go into a scary cabin and then every once in a while you get a choice to make and you can go to one page or the other to carry on the story in a branching narrative fashion. And I still think that's genius. I still think it's a shame that even though fighting fantasy books are being made and there is a, a kind of game book cult community, it's a shame that game books aren't really a thing for kids because I think kids would still like them. Anyway, I had a read of this book and played a few avenues out of the 36 possible endings. And it's good. It's good fun. It's uh, it's pretty basic stuff. You go into a haunted house that used to be the home of Mrs. Bigley, who may or may not be a witch, but clearly is. And there's lots of creepy stuff in here. And it, you do a kind of die at the end of some of these avenues. By the way, just to let you know, there are going to be spoilers uh, for these two books in this video and some of the endings. You can effectively die at the end of um, some of these stories. You can be transformed into a certain type of animal, for instance, which is a pretty, pretty scary thought when you're like 11, I would imagine. You try to cry out, but your brain can only think, run, eat, hide, like the mouse you are. Although, of course, today's 11-year-olds are harder to scare than ever before, I would have thought. But yeah, there's some uh, there's some fun to be had in here. And it's, it feels, overall, it feels like a, um, a scary story that is appropriate for kids. You know, it's kind of like, I mean, his face is, is, is quite quite frightening but there isn't doesn't feel like there's anything that oversteps the mark here and so it's fairly wholesome fun there might be the odd moment that could have stuck in a in a kid's psyche for decades to come perhaps but overall i don't think you're not going to have that many sleepless nights if you're a, if you're a kid reading this book now i can't say the same for this book because i think <laughs> i think this is the to be honest, I mean, I know I've, I should leave this as a matter of suspense until the end of the video to keep you watching, but I can't do that because this one is definitely scarier, I think, and more horrific. I mean, it does have horror in the title for good reason, the horror of High Ridge. 
You're spending the summer in your great uncle's cabin in the mountain town of High Ridge. And it turns out that there's all these ghosts. There's the ghosts of Indians and there's the ghosts of prospectors, gold prospectors in the town. And they've got like sharp implements that they're kind of killing each other with, even though they're ghosts. But they can also kill you and your friends. And they do. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, considering this book, I mean, the, the quotes in the front of this book are from like, from kids age as, as young as seven and so I don't know what a seven-year-old kid would have made of some of the uh, some of the stuff in this book I mean I mean you've got you've got ghosts appearing in rooms and you've got one ending sorry this is a bit of a spoiler for one ending but at least you won't know how to get there where a guy has you chained to a post and advances on you with a red-hot poker slowly he advances holding the hot iron towards you yeah but this i mean this illustration is is absolutely ludicrous i mean someone to be honest with you someone was not paying attention i think at the publishing house when this illustration slipped through the net look there's actual gore in this book like an illustration of uh, a ghostly prospector stabbing a ghostly indian in the back i mean i know it's kind of ghost on ghost violence but still there's, there's blood and it describes how the blood hits your face and it burns like fire and you scream in pain yeah this book is bang out of order i love it in the same way that i love uh you know that period of doctor who when doctor who went bang out of order around the sixth doctor era yeah it might not have been a great idea technically speaking but it's fun yeah and it's uh and it's very amusing to look back at all these years later but do you agree with me? I want to hear from you. Do you think that actually the more subtle chills of the mystery of Chimney Rock are more frightening than the horror of High Ridge with its kind of more visceral approach to frights? Get down in comments and let me know. Also, tell me if there are any other game book series you'd like to see covered on this channel, because as you can see, I still have a fair few on my shelves. Perhaps you might remember the Lone Wolf series or the incredible Steve Jackson's Sorcery series. Maybe it's the Golden Dragon series that really sets you off on a nostalgia trip. Or maybe it might be the sci-fi series Falcon, which really languishes in obscurity these days, but still seems to be a solid favourite among a whole section of fans. Yeah, I'd love to know if there's any particular series of game books you'd love to see a video on on this channel. And if enough people ask for a certain series, I'll be happy to oblige. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I also hope you'll return for the next one. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself here. You might even want to become one of my Patreon supporters and help this channel improve and grow. Wow, that'd be great. Link down in the video description. Until the next one then, don't forget to embrace your obsession.